Hey everyone, Betty here with Shore Life Creations. Let's do something fun. We're going to work on a starfish picture. I am putting down some crushed shell and then I'm going to mix up some art resin and the art resin is a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, you want to be careful when you're working with resin. You want to wear gloves and you want to make sure that you mix it for three minutes. I'm not, I can't remember specifically. I think this project took about two ounces total. I can't remember. So that would be one ounce hardener and one ounce resin. I did that. I cut that short on this video so you didn't have to watch me sit there and mix it. Because I, mean, I don't think y'all need to see me sit there and stir for three minutes. But yeah, one ounce. You want to, uh, with the two ounces, it's one ounce hardener and one ounce resin. Pour them together and mix for three minutes. Um, I always work with a, some use a popsicle stick, but I use the, um, let me think what it's called, the blue stick. I'll have to look it up. I can't think off the top of my head what it's called, but I find that it causes less bubbles when you're stirring and scraping from the sides. Um, I will link it in the comments. I'll link all the uh, supplies and everything in the comments so that if you're interested and you want to purchase, you can. I When I work with the resin and I'm pouring on the picture, I work on the edges first. And then I start coming out towards from the edges towards the center. Um, that way I make sure I hit all the crush shell first. Get those, make sure those get stuck really well. And then I work towards the edge of the frame. And then work towards the center of the frame. The frame and the glass have already been prepped before I started the video. This frame and glass were prepped probably a week or more ago with E6000. You have to make sure your glass and your frame have been prepped ahead of time so that your resin doesn't leak through the glass and the frame. I'll have to show you that on a different video because there's some prep work that goes into that before you even do your resin work. But I wanted to just show this video on how to create this cute starfish. Here we're just spreading the resin. We want to spread it out evenly. As you can see, oh, it's a silicone stick is what it is. Came to me. Sorry, a little slow. Uh, the silicone stick I use and I spread it. I make sure I get all the way up to the edge. Spread it out evenly. Um, you'll probably see when I get done. I don't think I used all the resin on this one piece. So I had some left over. Whenever I have leftover resin, I'll use it on another uh, piece I'll have to the side. I never throw leftover resin away. It's too expensive. I'll pull out another piece and work on something else with any leftover resin. So spread your resin out evenly. You don't want to overuse use too much. You don't want it pooling. You want it to spread it out. This is a makeup applicator. I'll also link the product if you're interested in purchasing that also. I'll spread it out with the makeup applicator so it's not pulled up in big puddles or anything. I'll spread it out. Make sure it's on the edges really well.
Then the heat gun. I have a couple of heat guns. This is my smaller one. Make sure you heat it up to get rid of all the bubbles. You're working with glass, so you want your resin to be as clear as your glass. You don't want any bubbles. You don't want any fuzzies. You don't want any artifacts of any kind in there. So make sure you get a good look at it. If you're sitting down, stand up and look down on it. I lift it up and look at it from different angles so that you can see if there's any spots that the resin missed. I come back with my little stick and move the resin around to cover those spots that may have been missed. I didn't add any resin. I just moved the resin around that's already on there to cover those spots up. And you may see some and think, oh, she didn't cover those up. But I may have cut the video and come back that you didn't see me do that. You didn't see me fix them. I try not to drag the video out too long. Place your, I placed the starfish in the center, adjusted it, and then I wanted to glue the rope down on the frame. So I took some E6000 and glued the strings down on the frame one for each side of the rope so that it didn't move and then I took some frog tape and stabilized it so it did so it stayed where it needed to stay and left it there and it's gonna take this resin 24 hours to set up overnight so I just left the frog tape there for the 24 hours and I'm going to add some clear crushed glass around to give the blank area some texture also. I didn't want to leave it just completely blank. And I took my other glove off to do that. I wasn't worried about getting any resin on my hands because I'm going to use that flat applicator, makeup applicator, to move it around. But if you happen to get any resin on your skin make sure you have alcohol wipes close by to wipe that off right away you don't want to get that on your skin you always wear gloves when you're working with resin so I make sure I have alcohol wipes close by so I moved my clear glass around I added a few more pieces and some spots that were a little empty and I think I shot it with the heat gun one more time before I put it on the shelf to dry and again you need to let your resin dry 24 hours and I usually let it dry 48 before I even think about shipping it out to make sure it's cured really well And if you've seen this and you've decided you like this piece, it's available in my Etsy shop. It's under shorelifecreations.etsy.com. If you're interested in any other pieces, there's plenty in there for you to take a look at. I appreciate you. And if you want to follow my channel, please do. Have a great day.